Hey folks, Mr. Justin here with Secret Weapon Miniatures, and today I get to talk about our new line of acrylic paints. This is a line of true acrylic paint uh, made in cooperation with Reaper Miniatures and based on their line of MSP high density pigment paints. It is water soluble, it is non toxic, it is made right here in the USA. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's take a look at what we've got. So these paints were specifically formulated both for color. Um, and because the MSP line uses multiple base formulations instead of just one acrylic base that they dump color into, they've got multiple base formulations, uh, was able to actually pull out specific bases that we want for the performance of the paint. A good example for that is the Rust set. Uh, it's the only set so far that includes six colors uh, because that is how I paint Rust. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and uh, put the splits over here and give you a look at those paints. So this is the Rust set. From left to right we have Rust Shadow, Old Rust, Brown Rust, Red Rust, Orange Rust, and Yellow Rust. These use different bases. Specifically, the Yellow Rust and the uh, Rust Shadow are using the liner base from Reaper, so that this gives me a nice translucent color. In the case of Rust Shadow, because I wanted to be able to bleed into the model very effectively, and in the case of Yellow Rust, because, well, when you're looking at Yellow Rust, that very fresh rust color, uh, it's sitting on top of other colors. It's never the true yellow. This way you can actually see the color that's underneath it. So we made an intentionally translucent yellow, but a very opaque old rust, which has that nice uh, violet color background to it, the violet base, uh, so that when you look at something like an old trellis bridge, any of that really old iron work, and it tends to go towards violet. You see that as we start to thin out some of these colors, like if we look at uh, tire black here, tire black is one we formulated well for wheels and tires. When I do wheels and tires, I want a satin sheen on the base tire so that uh, whenever I do my weathering, any spot that it's clean, it's going to show through as a satin. And that's what we've got here from tire black. You can see it's a nice high density color but it has a satin sheen to it. And again, reflective of how I would actually work on wheels and tires. Uh, it's the same thing for uh, the weathered wood set. It's the same thing for the rust set. Again, very different performance here between old rust and yellow rust. If I put them side by side, approximately the same amount, and thin them out, you'll see very different results from two colors in the same set, because again, they were formulated differently. So in this case, the yellow, you can see we get a nice vibrant color from it, but you can see a lot of the uh, ceramic palette underneath it. Load up my brush with the violet, a lot more solid color. So this is the old rust color. And of course it's formulated uh, in terms of uh, the color how I would paint rust, but it doesn't mean it's the only thing I'm painting with it. It is acrylic paint. It is ready to go. You can use it for whatever you like. Uh, in the case of uh, this model here, I took uh, Jessica Rich's fantastic class on how to paint female models. Uh, well, you might notice that the dress is done with rust yellow, um, a little bit of rust red for that orange color, a little bit of rust orange, and the skin is shaded with old rust. <laughs> uh, old rust has become one of my favorite new colors for shading skin, in fact. You'll hear much the same from Jessica Rich and Aaron Lovejoy, uh, who are now using it uh, in no small part to shade skin. Color is color. Uh, they are airbrushed friendly, but they're not pre-thinned. I don't like pre-thinned paints. I'm not going to sell you pre-thinned paints. At that point, you're buying water. They evaporate more quickly. Um, the consistency that I think it should be uh, may not be the consistency that you think it should be, or for that matter, it may not be the consistency I thought it should be by the time you buy it because it's been sitting around for so long, or maybe you've left it open, whatever. Uh, these are not pre-thinned. You can shoot them straight through the airbrush as is. I do recommend uh, upping the pressure a bit, upping the size of the nozzle as I would for any unthinned paint, uh, but you can toss them into a cup, thin them out, Mix them with other paints however you want, and uh, yeah, you'll get great results, and you'll get a full bottle of paint instead of paying for water. I'm very excited about the line. We've got another 15 colors that we're working on. There's 15 colors in this first uh, release. Uh, Going to be 30 in the first line of weathering acrylics. This includes rust. It includes the wheels and tire sets. Uh, it includes um, the weathered wood set. We've got a lot more coming. We'd love your feedback on it. Very exciting time, and of course, just the beginning. Any questions, it's Justin at SecretWeaponMiniatures.com. Leave a comment, find us on Facebook. Always happy to talk shop. Happy hobbying.